Winning the toss, Baresi kicks to the Jollymont end. Umpire Brophy is in charge of his first grand final. For 64, um, we entered the game being hot favourites because we'd played Collingwood in the second semi-final and we'd beaten them by 89 points, so therefore we went straight into the grand final and obviously playing Collingwood again, we were perceived to be outright favourites. It was not uh, to turn out that way and uh, at the end we were perhaps a little fortunate that we, um, that we got over and won by four points. Having said that, of course, we kicking one goal five or one goal six in the last quarter didn't help our cause. Williams lands the ball with Hassaman, who scores the first goal since eight minutes after the start of play. I missed a sitter of a goal with about uh, f four or five minutes to go, one that uh, should have been a bread and butter goal and uh, would have put us in front. The is split wide open as Burke's long kick is marked by Mann in front. But Mann fails to find the middle and it's only a behind. But, um, obviously, the, the, the keynote was our back pocket, Neil Crompton, coming up the ground to uh, follow his, his opponent, kicking the goal from centre half forward to put us in front. It's desperate football as Dixon marks. His kick comes off the pack to Crompton right up from the back pocket. And then, of course, Barry Burke, our full forward, taking a match saving mark in the 10-yard square in the uh, final minute of the game. Well, 64, I think, was a game that I felt that we had to win because we had a, a number of players that were getting near, the, or getting near the end of their career. Um, guys such as Dixon, Adams and Brassie, who had all played five or six premierships for the club. I think playing in the premiership um, bonds you together into something special that um, is everlasting. And there's the siren. Melbourne wins 8-16-64 to Collingwood's 8-12-60.